hi guys how are you so today i want to share with you the story of um, how i got sick and i ended up having an operation so my journey started in december 2021 i started having this funny headaches and you know that thing that you have these headaches that are always uh, attacking one side of the head so it was always this side so the headaches wouldn't stop i would take pain stop and you know all those other powerful um painkillers but there would be no change so december january february um i was having that situation and then in march i started feeling dizzy and I had to go to a clinic in Mount Pleasant. So when I got there, they took some blood tests. And at first, maybe the, the doctor thought maybe it's, it could be sugar. Uh, I was developing a sugar problem or high blood pressure or something. But then they checked all those parameters and they found that uh, they were within the acceptable range. And then um, after taking my blood samples and all that, that's when they discovered that uh, my, my hemoglobin was low. So they decided to put me on a drip and they gave me, um, also even my iron was low. So they decided to give me iron supplements and a list of foods that I should eat. So we started um, implementing that and I was eating uh, what the doctor had suggested and um, the situation improved but uh, also the headaches remained, uh, the dizziness stopped but the headaches remained. So I went to a general doctor uh, somewhere in town and the doctor suggested um, maybe it could be a migraine so he gave me some meds for migraine headaches because he was saying uh, given the location of the the headache it could be perhaps a, a migraine headache so i started taking the the meds for the the migraine it stopped perhaps for just that week and then after that the the headache started again so i went back to the doctor and told him um you know the the progress that i had made and how um the headaches had come back again so the the doctor suggested that i go to a physician because you are saying given uh, the medications that he had given me if it was indeed just a migraine it should have stopped so i went uh, to the physician and the the physician um, asked about the symptoms and everything and then he suggested that perhaps uh, I was having a condition called trigeminal neuralgia. So he prescribed these medications that I started taking and I was supposed to take them for about three months. So I started taking them and for the first two months that I took those meds, it was uh, the situation was not improving so i i don't know i just decided maybe i need another opinion because the, the meds were quite powerful but they were not solving the headache so i had been to another doctor um i had seen a doctor prior to all of this i had gone to um a doctor in the avenues a specialist a ent and he had said um i was having allergies before that so i had taken some treatment for allergies so i decided that given i can i could feel my ear also hurting from the, the headaches because the headache could be from here but then also this ear would be in pain so i decided uh perhaps i should take a visit to the ent so uh, they can also make their own assessment so the ENT checked the ear and he said the ear was doing just fine. Um, but perhaps given um, the ear is painful, even though physically it doesn't seem to have a problem, he suggested I should take a visit to the dentist so that uh, the dentist can check because um, there's what they call referral pain. Uh, so the, the pain, let's say from the teeth, could be felt perhaps uh, from a nerve 
that is going through the ear so he thought maybe that's the problem that i was having and um he suggested after i go to the dentist if the dentist doesn't identify any problem then he wrote me a letter to go to, for a ct scan so um i went to the dentist that very same day and he did some scans for this teeth um, and the jaws and everything and then he realized that um, I had um, a problem with my teeth because uh, the the teeth um, that are at the end the, the last the, the teeth that are at the very end here were actually positioned in a bad way because they were actually interfering with the roots of the the other tooth that was just besides um, the, the last one. So he decided to remove the, the top one and the bottom one. So he removed the teeth. And for some reason, you know, the, the headache stopped. <laughs> just maybe as I was nursing the wounds and maybe for two weeks, I didn't have the headaches. Then after two weeks, ah, uh, as you can imagine, the headaches came back again and i was back in the same scenario that i had started 